one component here that is part of evolution, and that is we have to begin to think differently. We have to think systemically. We have to think of the whole, not the parts. Our science took us down the path of scientific reductionism. It's all very useful because then you're very, very focused on the detail and that has great benefits in some ways. But it also has big problems because it's caused us to think more in um, silos instead of thinking whole systems. It's interesting, the Chinese think more whole system than we do. It gives them a great advantage. We have to expand our systems and I can't talk about this in any detail except to say that we have to begin to conform to natural systems. Natural system is looking after planet Earth, but a natural system is the way I was teaching golf to that lady. That is a natural system of learning. She was learning naturally. I wasn't teaching her, she was learning naturally. She was deciding what she did. That is the natural learning process. Teaching actually disrupts natural learning. Just a food for thought on, on nature and the power of nature. Think of a tree. The tree comes from a little seed about that size, doesn't it? And the tree grows, the way it grows, from the sunlight, the nutrition, the water that it gets from around it. Now we think we're pretty clever when we have a chip in our computer that can remember quite a lot of stuff. But that's a, that is a chip. Every tree there is in the world comes from a chip that is so much cleverer than any computer chip that you've got. When you can program on your telephone the design of the house you want to have and then push a button and watch your house grow, then we'll be as good as nature. We have a lot to learn.